We've been talking about the structures and behaviors of four different animals. We've been talking about the, the frogs, the millipedes, the fiddler crabs, and humans. What's that characteristic that we can look at for all four animals? So let's start with the first one, which was the frog. Let's talk about the legs. Jaren? The legs help them swim. They can swim faster and go to safety. Okay. Because movement is important for the survival of an animal. And they have become aware of different ways to take care of these animals and how they need these particular things to survive. And with humans, what do we use our legs for? To walk, to walk or to run. run. Okay, what's another characteristic, Devin? Speed. What would you say about speed there? They're fast. They're fast. What would you say maybe about the millipedes? They're slow. Okay, so you've got all this great information in your book about observations and the logs we've made on the different animals. And what we're doing is we're incorporating both structures and behaviors of the animal and you're going to fill out a sticky note on each animal. You're going to share information with each other, okay? The line segments are brown. The body is, is kind of black. The frog is green with black spots, and their belly is pale. I have the mouthy and the crab the they're, They don't really see with their eyes. They mostly just feel around with their antenna. We're doing the body structures for our animals. We're using the frogs right now, and we put down feet, and the feet help them jump. What we said is they take the claw and they pick it up and then kind of break it up a little bit then they eat it but with little pieces. We said that the frog's eyes are far apart and they're on different sides of their heads and we were guessing that they didn't have eyelids because their eyes were already wet. Their eyes are small and black. But they share with each other um, what they're seeing with these animals. As a result the children are excited about learning and they're retaining the information. Could the frog survive in the millipede habitat? Why or why not? No, because it isn't enough water in the millipede habitat. Could the millipede survive in the crab's habitat? The millipede needs to have dirt and leaves to dig down in. They saw that okay. humans have some similar um, characteristics the as these animals. Later. Could humans survive living in a I'm pond? A marshland? We would have to build a shelter. Okay, so what does that tell us about humans? That we're special and we can live in any environment. Adaption to environments, um, living in habitats, how we survive in habitats. You're going to read a story about what makes beavers special. Having a reading selection in science is important, um, especially for this lesson because they were able to use um, to apply with the knowledge that they had gained from observing the structures and the behaviors of the crab, the millipede, and the frog. What special characteristics do beavers have that help them survive in their habitats? Their big teeth. It helps them build their habitat. This lesson was different because we integrated sciences and inquiry with literature and so they were able to see, um, to observe, or, or to get information about animals in different ways. I've used textbooks quite often when, we, when I taught science, and I really didn't realize how wonderful the experience would be to teach using inquiry with science and actually having these hands-on experiences as, as I have with the living materials.